live yet. There we are. All right, so we're going to take a look in this little coop of trees here. I had uh, I'd flown my drone over a little bit earlier, and I couldn't tell if there's anything in here or not. So Greg and I are taking a dip into before the sun goes down just to make sure that there's nothing we're going to miss. So, oh God, I can't wait for my surgery. There we are. Smells piney. Oh. Oh. I don't know what she smells like, cigarettes and booze? Yes. Piney and energy. Look at that. I was looking at that. It looks like somebody placed some stones in there. Oh, look. Somebody placed some modern stones again. Damn it. So we decided we'd take you guys into the bushes. <sighs> Damn it, there's two copses of trees. That one and this one. Look, that's a nice little hill right there. The hillock there? Yeah. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, it might be like the ones that are over there. Yeah. That was an actual uh, foundation. I doubt it, but no, nah, it's a big rock. Think it too hard? No, do you smell it? Wood smoke? Yeah. It's probably way over there, that big fire we saw. Wow, is that ever blowing in? Oh yeah, well the wind's blowing this way. Okay. okay. So this is one of the copes of the trees we were curious about. What will sometimes happen when you chop down trees is other trees will take root in the rotten wood and you have small copes of trees where they otherwise wouldn't grow. Ah, I've seen this a couple times in old cabins and stuff, so that's what interests me. Oh, let's take a look. Oh dear God, it's like hell in here. I'm not seeing anything in there. <sighs> See anything? Hello. <sighs> oh, getting a call. So. All right, get another set of trees over here looking through. So I've pretty well avoided any hikes lately because I gotta have surgery to repair another surgery that was to repair a okay. angular hernia that I have. So that's all kind of falling apart in my guts. So we really haven't done much lately. So because of that, my health is suffering. Uh, just thinking about exercise is making me tired. Uh, I just thought about more exercise and getting more tired. Oh uh, shit. I'll see a spooky up there is up too. See anything? No? All right. Okay, okay I'll take a look, walk around this here to see anything. So that's the weirdest thing about these places is that uh, you don't know if it's fishermen or Acadians. Lord knows who else could have came here and settled. The Portuguese. And any little remnants of a settlement that they left could have been repurposed by someone or left to rot. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is a sack of shit that we were anyway, so these places get repurposed. That's why the planters were called planters, because they went on to a lot of the Acadian land, took over their houses. They plant themselves in there and that was your uncle. Oh god. Oh. Out there's probably up to my chest. Oh, I don't know if I have any to go through there. Oh god, it's swamp too. No. Okay, so there's trees there because it's a swampy area. I 
right through there. Okay. So that's all we really do sometimes. We just get out, take a quick look at something, make a determination. If some evidence pops up a little bit later to the contrary, then uh, we get back out to take a further look. <sighs> evidence is showing though that these new boots that I got, shoelaces like to come untied by themselves. Thinking quite a bit, no, it's mercy. So, oh, oh. all right. Oh, there's stuff in my hook, too. Oh, day just gets better. Oh. You coming back? Sorry, there's not much going on right now. I'm just fixing my boot and getting dirt out of it. <sighs> All right, so we're still on the trail looking for stuff, but I'm gonna be honest, it feels like there's been too much water and humans throughout this area to really see much. Ah, oh, there's all sorts of paths and four-wheeler paths and ah, modern made in nook shooks and whatever else you have, so nothing here. Not like the other spot we got. We got a spot that is it's been blowing our minds for a couple of years now, so but uh we're not prepared to show all that yet, but we have done some live videos and walkthroughs. Oh, oh, heart attacks. Whew. Oh God, I gotta get back in shape. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this off before you guys see me all die. And uh, yeah, just take a look at that sun. So you can see why people would have landed here. It's beautiful. All this is cranberries. Uh, there's a lot of blueberries. Of course, when the Norse were here, they called it Vinland. So some people say Vin means uh, wine. Other people think it says pasture in Old Nordic, Old Scandinavian, one of the tongues. So uh, the word or the the bit of Vin is also used in other other uh, names like friend and all that stuff. Great friend. So who knows what it means, but. Yeah, sure is beautiful here. All right, I'm gonna crawl up in the bushes and die before Greg gets here and uh, just thanks for watching you guys. We're trying to get out a little bit more often, so maybe it'll happen after our surgery in a couple of weeks. So take it easy, folks, eat. <laughs>